All right, guys, I apologize. I want to make a quick video for you. This is a long overdue video, but quick update on the race car, the big turbo build. I have been sourcing parts for this thing for the last few weeks, so it's been a little slow. The boost gauge, I have a, bit, a better boost gauge video coming out for you guys. It's almost done being edited, but we're just finishing some of the wiring. I uh, made a little harness for you. I'll go through all that in the video. Um, I'm also having some issues tuning it. That's why the laptop's sitting there and I have the OBX SX cable. Um, having some issues tuning the new ECU that we put in. But without, yeah, so without that flash, I'm not going to be able to obviously get the car to run. But, um, yeah, so same old, no big advancements. Still got to do the coils, still have a lot to do, which is covered in the next video. But I just Ooh. wanted to show you the parts that I actually got. So let me run back inside. I got the manual TX out here. Um, uh, finishing another age pop uh, issue with that one. I uh, bought super fancy pump. That's another video coming out that uh, that failed. But quick little rundown of the big turbo parts. This is the turbo GTX 3582 you've seen. I'm running some of the lines, which is in the upcoming video as well. Um, just kind of the, the, I would love your guys' uh, feedback. This, I believe, is oil drain line because it's going to come off the bottom. That's going to be oriented downwards. Um, and then, obviously, we could clock this however we need for in the car. These are three-bar map sensors, GM Stage 1 from ZZP, ZZ Performance. Um, so how to source these. How to source half-inch. Uh, this is fuel line, but I'm going to use it for coolant lines. <laughs> If anyone has better a better way to run these banjo bolts that came with the turbo um, or any solution line-wise, uh, please let me know. I also needed a boost controller. Mackinize is the tuner, and he's been recommending. So I got this electronic boost controller off Amazon. I'm not sure if it's going to work, but we shall see. Keep you guys posted. And, um, yeah, obviously you've seen this EZP manifold. Sorry, it's a little tucked back there, but that was actually a pretty good deal. And then... Yeah, this is just a 90 degree downpipe. Um, you've seen that, but 44 millimeter wastegate with the dump tube. I don't think I've shown you just a dump tube. That's just going to dump straight out. So the car is coming back inside tomorrow. We're going to fire this up. That'll be gone. That'll be done. Then we're going to dive back into the sob stuff. And like I said, sourcing all these parts, getting these sensors, talking to the tuner. I have a whole like breakdown of the email chain that I had with the tuner. So you get to check all that out but that's the update guys um just wanted to say thank you so much for watching thank you so much for being a part of this channel um, i'm having a lot of fun doing it uh you know kind of in my spare time and justin's enjoying it so jay's garage is alive and well if you've liked this video if you liked any of the build series thus far please drop a comment say uh kind of what you're thinking about the series or what you want to see in the next upcoming videos and also like this video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Thanks so much. We'll see you in the next one. See ya.